All right, adventurers, welcome to All Play. We're here with more of Dr. Boom's Boom's Day Project Puzzle Lab. It's the newest expansion and single player aspect within uh, Hearthstone. All right, so we're going into the lab one last time. One last time. I've cleared all of Lethal, all of Mirror, all of Board Clear, all of Survival. Now, within the Secret Lab, we've done. Let's see, I have issues remembering things. Lethal, mirror, and board clear. All that's left is survival, and then we will reap our boons. An amazing card back. Let's go ahead and start the very last part of the puzzle lab. The Boomsday Project is nearly complete. Soon, we'll know what we're building. <laughs> Let's do this. Alright, so again, this is the survival part of Dr. Boom's part of the puzzle lab. In survival, we want to survive the boss's hero power. It's always going to deal what should be enough damage to us to uh, leave us with one life. So, that's the goal. We need to get to full health, regardless of how much armor we have. You got quite the brain on you. Uh, could you report to the metric lab for jar sizing? No reason. All right. Dr. Boom's side of the field, he has the Turret Sentinel, a 4-8 mech that says, after your opponent plays a minion, attack it. And then Death Rattle, refresh all mana crystals. Okay. Uh, there's no cards in Boom's hand or in his deck. Our side of the board has nothing on it as well. We are a Warlock, so our hero ability is uh, draw a card and take two damage. We have no cards in our deck, and we have one life. So immediately using that hero power is going to get us killed. Our hand from left to right, we have the Crazed Alchemist, a 2-2 two -two with Battle Cry, swap the attack and health of a minion. We have Rat Catcher, a 2-2 two -two with Rush and Battle Cry, destroy a friendly minion and gain, gain its attack and health. We have Soul Repressor, a 0-4 mech that reads Death Rattle, put the lowest Your cost demon. Weapons are no match for my crude intellect. No, wait, the other thing. Uh, a zero four mech that reads death rattle put the lowest cost demon from your hand into the battlefield we have unlicensed apothecary a five five demon that reads after you summon a minion deal five damage to your hero and we have Morganus, a nine seven demon that reads your other demons have plus two plus two and your hero is immune we have eight mana okay so what is looking like the way we're gonna have to win this is by having Malganus in play the second Malganus is in play we 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 win because he can't possibly kill us. We're immune. But he costs way more mana than we have available. He, I'm sorry, he costs one more mana <laughs> than we have available. So we got to find another way to do this. Work the problem. If that fails, I resort to bribery. Okay, if we can kill the turret sentinel, we get all of our mana back. So let's see. Uh we're also going to need a way to play and kill this with Malganus being the last car in our hand, right? Or, or I'm sorry, the, the last demon in our hand. So we'd have to play on License Apothecary before we play this. Interesting. After you summon a minion, deal five to your hero. But then how would we... Oh, he'd kill this. Is there a way for him to kill... Yeah, we could switch his switch his attack. It's good to plan ahead. Me, I plan behind. Okay. Results are guaranteed. Okay, I see it now. Okay, if we play Crazy Alchemist here, he's going to... First, he's going to switch the, the attack in health. So it's not going to be a 4-8. It's going to be an 8-4. Then he's going to attack this. So he's going to have two damage on him. He's going to be an 8-2. Then we play the Unlicensed Apothecary. They both die, so I don't have to worry about taking damage from him. If this dies, our mana gets refreshed. So we're going to have all our mana back. And then we play the Soul Repressor. And then we play Rat Catcher, 
killing the soul repressor and he dies the only card we have in our hand is the demon Malganus. that's how we do it so we switch these two then the attack happens next we play the unlicensed apothecary yeah we refresh uh, we play Soul Repressor and now Rat Catcher. I'm going to eat this one. He pulls Malganus out of our hand and we're immune. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Dr. Boom's side of the field, empty. His hand, empty. His deck, empty. So it's up to us to kill. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's up to us to become immune one way or another. Okay. Our side of the board, we have the Genie of Zephyrs, a 4-6 elemental that reads, after you cast a spell on another friendly minion, cast a copy of it on this one. Okay. So whatever spell we put on something else also happens down here. Our hand from left to right, we have battery pack. Refresh all of your mana crystals. Earth and scales. Give a friendly minion plus one plus one. Then gain armor equal to its attack. We have forbidden ancient. A one one that reads battle cry. Spend all of your mana. Gain plus one plus one for each mana spent. So basically all the mana that I have when I play this. All the mana I have when I play this gets put on this guy as power in, in life. We have Mark of the Lotus. Give your minions plus one plus one. Lord Walker Cho. Whenever a player casts a spell, put a copy into the other player's hand. Zolga the Gorgon. This is a spell. Yeah, it just spells. Zolga, Zola the Gorgon. A 2-2 two -two that reads battle cry. Choose a friendly minion. Add a golden copy of it to your hand. And Azalina Soul Thief, a 3-3 that reads Battle Cry. Replace your hand with a copy of your opponent's. Oh, that's that's interesting. Okay. If I'm going to be playing spells, I think I need to start with Lord Walker Cho. Because clearly I want to play Lord Walker Cho, play a bunch of spells, play Azalina Soul Thief to get all those spells back, you know? So let's start with Cho. Jade Serpent guide you. What if, listen, what if I get a bunch of all the spells? <laughs> I could do that with Zola. If I copy, if I copy Lord Walker Cho and drop him again, that give me two copies of every spell in Boom's hand, and then I'll take it back with uh with a uh, Zelina. I like that. If I play battery pack. Oh, let me play this. Jade Serpent guide you. You know, I didn't know I didn't realize he talked about the Jade. That uh, let me get off that. That's my thing. Uh, if I play battery pack now, I'm gonna get mana back. I'm not gonna have to worry about these clowns. I'll get all my mana back. He'll get two copies and eventually I'll get those two copies. I think I should drop the engine first though. I should max out on uh max out on mana. Let's max out on mana. Or not mana. Yeah, I guess that's what I'm saying. Let's max out our mana. Okay, so now my only option is to play this. So it's gonna refresh and put two copies over in Boom's hand. I could drop Azelina now, but then I could also put these in and not and still be able to play Azelina. If I put this, I guess I want to put this on the ancient, right? It'd be the best. It'd be the best, I believe. No, not yet. Let's play this first, and then the then the Earth and Scales. Get everybody as big as possible. So two copies. So, so let's see. I drop this on 
Uh, oh, yeah. I'd get a copy over here, too. If I put this on the ancient, I'll get I'll get it on the Jinny as well. So this is going to make him a 5-5. Five, five, I'd get 5 armor. And this is going to make him a 6-8. I'd get 6 armor. I'd be getting 11 armor. You know, I think Boom does take it. Oh, oh, it just has a number all the way. I thought it was full heal. No, he's going to deal a certain amount. Okay. Okay. So when I play Azelina, so I need to get what, 41? I need to play Azelina. I'm going to get all those back and drop them again. Only way it's going to work is because I have battery packs in there, which is which is what I want in life. Which is what I want in life. I I I do I want to drop a battery pack now or do I want to play a thing? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm gonna I'm gonna fly through those, right? All right, so if we drop both marks of the lotuses, then we play uh, both of these on the Forbidden Ancient again. Just see, he's going to be a 7-7. Seven, seven. And he's going to be, what, 8-10? So then this is going to give us 9 armor. And then that's going to give us 10 armor. Is that what it is? This is one one higher. Oh no, eight and nine, and now nine and ten. Says so nineteen. We'd be well above his forty damage. Yeah. And we still got batteries. And we still got batteries. Okay. The last time I fired this baby, I lost half my lab leads. Worth it. <laughs> okay. Uh, Boom side of the field. He has two Omega Defenders. They are six. I'm sorry. They're two sixes with Taunt and Battle Cry. If you have 10 Mana Crystals, gain 10 attack. Uh, in between both of those, he has a Turret Sentinel. A 4-8 mech with after your opponent plays a minion, attack it, and Death Rattle. Refresh all Mana Crystals. Our side of the field, we have the Genio Zephyrs again, a 4-6 LML that reads, after you cast a spell on another friendly minion, cast a copy of it on this one. And we have the Rusty Recycler, a 2-6 mech with Taunt and Lifesteal. Uh, we are Druids, so our hero ability is Shapeshift. Gain one attack this turn and gain one armor. Did he go to the other side of the lab? <laughs> uh, we're at one health. And we have four cards in our deck. In our hand, though, we have Earth and Scales. Give a friendly minion plus one, plus one. Then gain armor equal to its attack. We have Rusty Horn. Give a minion taunt. We have Bratching Paths. Choose twice. Draw a card or gain your uh, give your minions plus one attack or gain six armor. Uh, we have two copies of Branching Path. We have Oak and Summons. Uh, gain six armor. Recruit a minion that costs four or less. Then we have Strong Shell Scavenger, a 2-6 that reads Battle Cry, give your taunt minions plus 2 plus 2. And we have Zilliax, a 3-2 mech with magnetic divine shield, taunt, lifesteal, and Brother, rush. Every solution has a problem. I wonder. I have I've never really seen this, but I wonder if lifesteal if if life skill steel is a redundant mechanic. Like if not if having more than one instance of life steal doesn't mean anything. We are gonna find out though. Four cards in deck. This guy says recruit a minion that costs four or less. Interesting. So we're gonna need ways to draw cards. I guess that's what the branching path is. Whatever. We gonna find out. We gonna find out. Okay. What if we start with that? Let's start with that. Just pull pull some out the deck. The Steel Rager. 
and he doesn't attack it. Good. <laughs> Good. Oh, he's a mech. A 5-1 mech. Let's put them together. Let's put them together. This becomes what a, let's see, a 5-1 and a 3-2. That becomes an 8-3. Unity, precision, perfection. Okay. So we could just straight up kill the turret sentinel. But he doesn't have taunt. We have to go through these two first. Let's do that. So now we can hit him. He's going to die. We have divine shield. So we'll be fine. He's going to die. We're going to get all our mana crystals back, which is good. And we healed as well. We healed for eight. The goal here is ultimately we want to... Uh, we want to get all our armor up. That's what it seems. So I'm feeling like both of these are going to be gain six armor. Uh, let's see. This is glowing so we can give just my taunt. Okay. We can give him what? Plus two plus two. Hmm. I guess I guess that's what it is. The frozen wind. This is going to give us, at most, 11 armor. 11, we need to beat 40. If we get 11 armor, let's see, we're at 15. Now we're going to be at 26. And then both of these would be 12. Ooh, we're not going to make it, are we? Actually, we can only play one of these. We're not going to make it. Let's see. Oh, that's right. It's going to copy over here. So we're going to get another five that I didn't count on. What if I would have played this first? Uh, maybe I should have played. Wait, if I get 12 armor, we're going to make it. That that five that I didn't count on, that, that mattered. We're going to make it. There we go. Dope. Oh boy. Okay. Boom side of the field. He has three copies of Zombie Chow. A 2 3 that reads Death Rattle. Restore five health to the enemy hero. Three copies of those. In between two of the copies, he has Malganus, the 9-7 demon that reads, your other demons have plus two plus two, and your hero is immune. And then on the very end, he has the Corrupted Healbot, a 6-6 six, six mech that reads, death rattle, restore eight health to the enemy hero. Uh, no cards in Boone's hand, nothing in his deck. Our side of the board, we have five copies of the Worthless Imp, a 1-1 one, one demon. The only way you can really get this is if you have a card that calls for demons and you don't have it. Uh, we have 11 cards in our deck. We're Warlock, so our... It's good to plan ahead. Me, I plan behind. Results are guaranteed. Our hero ability is Life Tap, so we'll draw a card and take two damage. 11 cards in deck. Interesting. Uh, our hand, from left to right, we have the Phasing Portal. Choose a minion. Put it on the bottom of your deck. Sacrificial Pack. Destroy a demon. Restore five health to your hero. Uh, we have two copies of that. Um, we have Demonic Research. This turn, your cards cost health instead of mana. And Doom, destroy all minions. Draw a card for each. Interesting. Choose a minion, put it on the bottom of your deck. Clearly, we want Malganus, right? And then we want to find a way to healthily draw. <laughs> healthily draw all the way through. Let's go. We can't, we can't use our ability. We can't use our ability yet. It's going to kill us. Uh, we can't use Demonic Research. Anything we play after will kill us. Uh, we don't have a way to play Doom. Oh, I guess I guess we're going to need to get our health up. Well, there we are. We're going to destroy some demons. We're going to destroy some demons. So now we're at a point where we can take the 10 damage. If we destroy everything, actually, it's going to heal us back up. Uh, one, two, three, and four are all going to heal us. This is five, 10, 15, and what? Eight more will be 23 health. 
which is good because we need to make our way to 40. Let's do that. So it's going to destroy everybody. But we're going to draw Doom and Dark Pack and Kobo Librarian and Carnivorous Cube and Void Lord and Wood Witchwood Imp and Soul Repressor. We ain't get to the thing, though. Oh, shoot, I forgot. You draw a card for everything. Uh, you draw a card for everything you destroy with Doom. Not, <laughs> not everything in your deck. Okay, we can we can fix this though. We got twenty four health. We can play around a lot. We'll play around a lot. Let's see our new hand: Doom, destroy all minions. Draw a card for each. We have Dark Pack, destroy a friendly minion, restore four health to your hero. Kobo Librarian, battle uh, two one that reads Battle Cry. Draw a card, deal two damage to your hero. Uh, Carnivorous Cube, a 4-6 that reads Battle Cry, destroy a friendly minion, Death Rattle, summon two copies of it. Void Lord, a 3-9 that reads Taunt, and Death Rattle, summon three one three demons with Taunt. Oh, did I stump you? The Witchwood Imp, a 1-1 one, one demon that reads Stealth, and Death Rattle, give a random friendly minion, plus two health. Uh, and Soul Repressor, a 0-4 that reads, 0-4 Mech that reads Death Rattle, put the lowest cost demon from your hand into the battlefield. We still have five cards in our deck, so we're going to need to get them out. Let me see. So what do we want to die to Carnivorous Cube? I guess we want to kill Soul Repressor, and we want Carnivorous Cube to be the way? I don't think we have any other real good way to... Let's see how many demons. We got Void Lord and the Witchwood Imp. Now, if we if we kill him with Carnivorous Cube, that's going to take out our, Witch, our Witchwood Imp. It's the lowest costing demon in our hand at the moment. Your superior weapons are no match for my crude intellect. No, wait, the other thing. No, I'm sorry. If I play... Let's see. If I play Witchwood Imp before I kill Soul Repressor with Carnivorous Cube, instead, that's going to get what? Void Lord? That's the only other demon. Yeah, let's do that. It seems a little bit more healthy. <laughs> the Witchwood Imp. And now the Soul Repressor. So if I eat the Soul Repressor with the Carnivorous Cube, that's going to bring Void Lord out. Because otherwise he'd be he'd be competing with Malganus, and I don't know how that works when it comes to numbers. Uh, we got another Doom. We have another Doom. See, we need five minions in play, right? If I play Dark Pack on this, we're going to get two copies of the Soul Repressor. What if instead I play it on the Void Lord? We're going to have five minions in play. I'm going to assume there's five minions here. I'm going to assume the five cards in our deck are minions. Uh, that last one being... Uh, uh, Actually, no. I'm going to assume the rest of this deck is not minions, except for the one that we know is in there, Malganus. That would mean... Remember, every solution has a problem. That would mean that if I kill Void Lord, he makes three. Uh, we'd have five minions in play. Oh, shoot. I'm lost. I'm lost. Because I'm trying to figure out how to kill Carnivorous Cube and kill the two things it, it summons on its death rattle so that they will pull Void Lord out of our hand. I'm lost. I think I really just got to wipe it. I got to find out whatever these are here. I got to kill, kill Void Lord, then Doom, so I'll draw these out and then, and then pray. <laughs> That's not a good. That's not a good solution. But I, th I think that's all I got at this point. Oh, let's do this first. And now, if I doom, it's gonna kill all of them. So one, two, three. Was I right? Oh, I was right. All, all, uh, all five of them were minions. Okay. So I still can't play Malganus. I'm one. Before I was. Oh, no, that was a different puzzle. I was going to say, before I was one mana short, now I'm one life short. Okay. Our new hand, our new cards in our hand. We have Spirit Singer Umbra, a 3-4 that reads, After you summon a minion, triggers death rattle effect. 
Unlicensed Apothecary is a 5 5 demon that says after you summon a minion, deal 5 damage to your hero. Uh, 3 2 demon, I'm sorry, Flame Imp, a 3 2 demon that reads Battle Cry, deal 3 damage to your hero. We have Void Terra, a 3 3 demon that reads Battle Cry, destroy both adjacent minions and gain their attack and health. And Malganus, the 9 7 demon that reads your other demons have plus 2 plus 2, your hero's immune. Um. If we kill both of these, they're going to take the lowest cost demon in our hand. One, two, three. Am I distracting you? At the moment, we have three demons before Malgana, so we're going to need to play something. We're going to need to play something, right? Actually, the only way we can eat these is by playing Void Terror. So really, we only got to play one card before we play Void Terror. Let's play Flame Imp. I guess it doesn't matter which side. As long as we play it on the side. And Void Terror, killing both of these, is leaving us with just enough health to survive and bring Malganus out. Because they're going to pull this guy first, and then they're going to summon Malganus. He's going to try and hit us for five before Boom even hits us. No good. No good. Okay. I've turned the knob up to 11. Out of five. <laughs> Boom side of the field, nothing. His hand, nothing. His deck, nothing. Uh, our side of the board, nothing. We are Druid, so our hero ability is plus one attack this turn, plus one armor. Uh, we have no cards in deck and a full hand. Our hand from left to right, we have battery pack. Refresh all your mana crystals. Uh, we have two copies of that. We have Mistress of Mixtures, a 2 2 that reads Death Rattle, restore 4 health each hero. Earth and Scales, give a friendly minion plus 1 plus 1, then gain armor equal to its attack. Then we have Savage Roar, give your characters plus 2 attack this turn. We have the Spirit Singer Umbra, a 3 4 that reads After you summon a minion, trigger its Death Rattle effect. We have Jenna, the Genie of Zephyrs. Operation. The Genie of Zephyr is a 4-6 elemental that reads, after you cast a spell on another friendly minion, cast a copy of it on this one. And we have Ixlid, the Fungal Lord, a 2-4 that reads, after you play a minion, summon a copy of it. Then the Red Mana Worm, a 2-6 that reads, whenever you cast a spell, gain plus 2 attack. And the Gloop Sprayer, uh, a 4-4 that reads, Battle Cry, summon a copy of each adjacent minion. Oh, that's going to be interdasted. Okay. Okay, we have 10 minutes. Let's rock. Well, we really have 30, but we got 10, 10, 10. Let's see. Clearly, we want this to get as big as possible. Like, I was thinking we want X lit out first. Work the problem. If that fails, I resort to bribery. I was thinking we want X lit out first, but that doesn't seem right that we want two copies of the mana worm or the red mana worm. Because we don't really have copies of things to drop on both of them. Let's play the red mana worm first. Then Ixlid. And now we're out of mana. After you play a minion, summon a copy of it. We're out of mana, so let's rock. Now, two copies of the Genius Zephyrs, that's fine. Because uh, we don't have we didn't have two red mana worms. We didn't have things for two red mana worms, but if we have anything in the genie out, it's like we have two copies of it, and one of them goes on the, the genie. So let's rock with that. This is no place for mortals. This is no place for mortals. I want to drop Earth and Scales right now, but this feels like this goes before uh, Earth and Scales because it makes our things bigger. So let's play this. And if we hero power, then we got that one armor, which is always beautiful. And we're out of mana again. So now I want to drop Earth and Scales, but I, I, we can still make more Jennies. If we play group, uh, Gloop Sprayer in between the two Jennies, uh, then we're going to get a total of four Jennies. Five, six, seven. Yeah, that's why we didn't want two copies of this. They grow up so fast. 
And then he almost he tried to make another copy. It's fine. Uh, now, if I play this over here on uh, if I play Earth of Scales over on the Red Man of Worm, he's going to give us 11 and then each Jenny is going to give us seven armor. So that's 28 and 11. That's 39. We just made it to boom. <laughs> we just made it to boom. Oh, we were we were too above what we needed. Fine, it's okay, it works. Okay. Boom side of the field, empty. His hand, empty. His deck, empty. Our side of the field, empty. Our deck, empty. We're druid. Uh, so our hero ability is plus one attack this turn and plus one armor. Our hand from left to right, we have battery pack. Uh, refresh all your mana crystals. Bark skin, give a minion plus three health, gain three armor. The mistress of mixtures, a 2-2 two -two that reads death rattle, restore four health to each hero. Explosive sheep, a 1-1 one -one mech that reads death rattle, deal two damage to all minions. A 2-3 beast, uh, I'm sorry, the plated beetle, a 2-3 beast that reads death rattle, gain three armor. The Voodoo Doll, a 1-1 one -one that reads Battle Cry, choose a minion, and then on his death route, it destroys that minion. Then we have the Spirit Singer Umbra, a 3-4 that reads After You Summon a Minion, triggers death route effect. This is a delicate operation. Uh, Ixalid Fungal Lord, a 2-4 that reads After You Play a Minion, summon a copy of it. And Mossy Horror, a 2-7 that reads Battle Cry, destroy all other minions with two, two or less attack. Okay. Uh, we don't want too many copies of this. Uh, I guess having too many copies of this is redundant. Okay. How about we start with the explosive sheet so we can start killing stuff off. And if we play the Fungal Lord, now we can start making copies of stuff. We don't want to kill stuff too fast. We want to be able to control our rate at which we kill them. That's why I'm playing that first. Uh, we want him to live, right? So let's let's play Bart Skin on him. Now we want to blow our last bit of mana before we refresh. Let's armor up. And everybody that's left, except for uh, the Mossy Horror, everybody that's left has a good death rattle. So let's go ahead and drop the Spirit Singer Umbra. So we get two copies. And, and now when we play a minion, we get its death rattle to go off instantly. So uh, we're going to start with these two, right? It makes the most sense, yes? Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's play this one first. Side effects. No. no. Trust, Trust me. And then, of course, we're going to get two copies. I'm sorry, a copy of that. No. And the death route is going to go off. I'm with it. Uh... Now, let's see. If I play the voodoo doll, it's going to kill whatever immediately. So if I play it here, this is going to go off and kill these two and the voodoo doll. So I've got space for four more minions, which is exact, actually exactly what I think I need. So let's play the voodoo doll on the sheet. It's going to die instantly. Thank you. Now, if I play the plated beetle, we're going to get three armor, four, uh, six armor. It's going to make a copy. We'll get 12 armor total. Perfect. Wrong. 
Boom shrieking voice is dope. All right, so that's that's survive, and with that, we just finished all of the puzzle lab. Boom! It's a dope card back. <laughs> Relying on eight unstable evil super geniuses could have backfired. <laughs> Dope. It's been a while since I completed an adventure. I'm actually glad. This is, this is fun. This is something fun to do for the channel. I'm glad I got the chance to do so. I haven't played Hearthstone. Last time I, I was actively playing Hearthstone was Kar Kar uh, uh, Karazhan. After Karazhan cycled out, I, I didn't. I stopped playing for a while, so it was really fun to get back in for the Boomsday Project. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this 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 whole series. I've got a lot of fun stuff coming up to replace the three o'clock slot here on the channel. Don't worry, don't you fret, don't you fret. I got another game that I want to play a bunch of. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and would love to see more, then all you have to do is hit that red button below this video. That's our subscribe button. And turn on notifications. That way you get notified whenever a video gets posted to the channel. Or whenever I do something special like a, 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 a Dr. Boom's Boom's Day Project. Puzzle Lab. Thank you guys for checking this out. And I'll catch you later with more. Here on Alt Play. I'm going to beat Kobos and Catacombs in the, the dungeon run soon though. You hear me?